Okay. Greetings and salutations, everybody. This is Invisible here with you. The host of Invisible uh, Gaming Channel talking at your heart from the dark side of the moon. And um, I requested from you 10 questions per subscriber in my Ask Me Anything. This video will be the answers for that uh, question. Let's get starting. The people who ask me the questions are Arforel, Rogation Kerodan, Cryfield, Doxbar, and ZPTV123. I'll start this by answering the questions from them in order, the same order they ask me the questions. We will start with Arforel. As for my uh, webcam, sorry, but I don't uh, feel still I am prepared to reveal my face. Anyway, let's begin. Arforel's first uh, question is, are you buffed, flat, or skinny? Well, I already uh, calculated previously my BMI, and I am considered obese compared to my height. I will not uh, comment anymore about this. Sorry. Uh, what uh, what you gonna do after graduating? Honestly, I don't know. I still have no clear path in life to go through, and frankly, most of the paths I'm trying to achieve are closing before my eyes because of the too much criticism and too much judging. Three. Will you help me establish a anarcho stat where the teachings of the un a bomba are applied? I have no idea what's in an, an a bomber, and I ha and I do not honestly support anarch uh, states. So I don't know honestly how to answer you for this. What are your thoughts on apps like Rando Notion, Do Donica, and uh, Pokemon Go? <laughs> Randonica, I never heard about it before, but Pokemon Go is a very nice exercising um, scheme. Basically, the whole idea is uh, so Randonica as well as another uh, supposedly app uh, game where you have to visit uh, places around uh, the country well um okay here about randonica uh, quantumly random let me see here um the randonica uh, puts the user in the director's chair of an adventure story yet to be written by using the app the user can break uh, from their mundane day-to-day -day and take a journey of randomness into around the world so that's why it's called randonica mind matter mind matters your mind is your guide as you observe the view the world differently. Traveling to the unknown is a journey like no other. A whole new world. Basically, this uh, this is a game where you travel onto your own personally made uh, adventures. For me personally, when I heard about Pokemon Go, and before it also... What was that that came also from Niantic? Um, inverse or the uh, don't remember it. Either way, um, 
game uh, applications that are games in the shape of uh, train, training and walking applications are very beautiful and useful for extroverts who love so much to go out, meet others, and um, discover the world around them. I see them as a positive note for going out to exercise, discover new things, new areas, but at the same time, many people can easily abuse them. Just like the time when uh, thieves and thugs placed multiple uh, Pokemon beats in an area, and everyone who went to get some more uh, Pokemon was uh, attacked and uh, theft, assaulted. So yeah, they, they have the advantages and the disadvantages both. Do I uh, recommend them or impose them? Yes, if you like exercising. I also have another application that's named Zombie Run. Zombie Run is uh, the same exact uh, idea. You listen to pre-recorded uh, uh, story, audio story, as you run around being the runner number five. And you try to collect uh, lots of uh, resources to go back to the Able Tower. It's a very interesting story. As long as you have the time and the energy to go out, build up your endurance and stamina, and uh, meet others. Frankly, these are very interesting um, games because they encourage people to meet each other and get to know one another but the thing is i am not that much uh, of a socialist social person next up is is there have been at least one time where you approach your crush and uh, things turn out good <laughs> rfl um I never had a crush in my life. I am so much a purely introverted that even if I had a crush on somebody, I cannot just approach them. That's one of my problems. And um, I am simply not that much risk taker. I hate criticism, I hate rejection. Lastly, even if I had any crush like, uh, on anyone, I was automatically rejected. Multiple times, I simply looked towards the other gender, the other sex, and I was instantly dropped without even speaking with them. So yeah, I completely, frankly, gave up on having ever a crush since. Looks like I'm not just distant to do so. Question 6. Can I uh, make you a YouTube icon for, uh, can I make a YouTube icon for you? Feel free. Um, I oh, don't really mind it. My current icon is my invisible blade. Um, why did I choose it exactly? First and foremost, the yellow part that makes like a star or like an uh, eyes uh, dot above it. Also, I am a fan of uh, blades and weapons. And also, this uh, blade helped me a lot when I used to be a YouTuber still, in my younger years. So it's a blade. It's my uh, channel signature. And also was my a gift from my mother when I was younger. If you wish to make another icon, I don't really mind it, as long as you can make an icon in that very small size that in uh, YouTube branding you can find. It was very hard to make it. That's it. Seven. What type of interactivity will you wish to further have in this channel? Honestly, I don't know. I uh, mainly focus on making um, Let's say, please. Used to make uh, interactive uh, games videos like what if situations and first impressions and um, 
I once even asked others to get, try to guess what I looked like from only listening to my voice. The thing is, throughout my nine years with YouTube, I um, never got much feedback. Never. That was one of the reasons why I got so much discouraged that I retired from uh, the, channel, the channel. I tried my very best to be helpful. Let's play challenges, nighting, webcam um, updates, announcements, and um, don't know if I'm going to do that again. Eight, if you blew up any views and popularity, will you quit? Um, let's see here. If I, you mean if I become popular, will I quit? If I can start getting my income from these uh, activities, I will continue on uh, working on them. If I fail in these activities as um, at least I will give it until I finish my master's degree, then perhaps I will try to look for a, a more traditional job or career, since it looks like I am maybe just not meant to be a YouTuber in the end. Arfalil, I'd like to thank you very much for your questions, 80 questions out of 10, and I'd like to thank you for your, your um, viewership and uh, participation. Next 10 questions are from uh, Rogue Agent Karudan. First question, what if you could live for 200 years? Honestly, I'd rather die than live. Uh, the world around us is already uh, honestly garbage, as far as I can see. And if I can live for 200 years, most likely I would kill myself since uh, it's pointless. I will just see uh, generations upon generations uh, taking over each other, more people cursing each other. Even I will be the subject of cursing because people will tell me, I am just an old timer, why don't you just die and leave us be? So yeah, um, honestly I have no ambitions for 200 years since I have no ambitions for the world we exist in. Two, should Godzilla and Gamera have ever a crossover? If the plot can make them work together and uh, have some twists, some uh, logical progression, then why not? You know about these films more than me, so I'll leave answering this to the experienced uh, pros, professionals. Number three, who do you think would win a fight between Jason Vordy or Michael Myers? Jason or Michael Myers, who are those both? I believe I already know who is uh, Jason. But who is Michael Myers? Oh, um... So both of them are uh, masked uh, killers, I take it. I'm not too much big on to the horror uh, films uh, genre since after i played the scp containment breach and the amnesia uh, before them my horror nerve broke completely but a fight between jason the guy with the blade and uh, michael myers who would win both of them have superhuman strength, both of them have extremely well, very good endurance. They have the uh, abilities to uh, appear from the nowhere. Um, frankly, if they have to fight between each other, most likely there will be human watchers to see who would, uh, which of them would uh, win. And I would prefer a scenario where they both 
strike a truce and purge the humans around them. But if I had to choose between Jason and between Michael, I think Jason may win because he has more of a goal to satisfy his mother's soul, while Michael Myers is just a killer. Jason is more like an undead coming back to life after the humans bullied him and his mother and killed them both. So, a wrathful grief is much more stronger than just a circle, I think. Four. What if you took the most outrageous adventure of your life this year? What if you took the most outrageous adventure of your life this year? The most outrageous adventure of my life is simply existing. That's not it. Uh, my life is very much uh, kind of lazy and uh, uninteresting. Honestly, there's not much really going through it, other than studying, going to classes, talking with the drivers, speaking with the classmates, uh, barely speaking with my family, and my continuous uh, words on Reddit, on uh, Twitter, and on Discord. Frankly speaking, I don't believe that uh, the human race is what I belong to, since this race is just a mistake. Completely all of it. Number five. Where do you like to go when you eat out? I am an uh, indoor eater, uh, then. When I wish to eat out, most likely I'll take one of the more well-known uh, options, such as uh, burger uh, restaurants or quick, uh, like, uh, Quick meals, uh, restaurants. I'm not going to say McDonald's because I haven't eaten McDonald's in uh, almost like a year now. And the fact that I'm not a fan of it. Also, I stopped completely eating Burger King as well. Mostly right now, I eat that uh, more traditional food or the very easy to go like Dine and Rush, Dine and Dash style sandwiches, salads, full meals in um, um, cardboard boxes or whatnot, such thing like that. But most of my meals are always uh, indoors, not outdoors. I don't really mind dining outdoors, but uh, frankly, I'd rather eat in my own personal uh, interior space where I can eat without being judged all the time. If you eat outside in restaurants or even in uh, junk food restaurants, um, people will look at you, judge you what you're eating, the amount, the quantity, the quality, how much you're spending. It's kind of... Appetite killing. A six, what social stigma does society need to get over? Society needs to get over all of its historic um, bad memories. If you have a sad event that happened long ago, most importantly, racism has to be purged completely. Um, events of uh, complete uh, contempt towards other uh, people. I mean, the both, uh, such as both world wars, the civil wars, the occupations, we get it. History is important to be learned, but it is sickness to keep uh, repeating it over and over and over and stop. Also, the Salem, Salem uh, uh, town uh, witch trials, um, 
superiority over each other. Honestly, if people just can live without being bullies non-stop and regurgitating vomiting history only to swallow it back again and then to vomit it again, to swallow it again, it's just nasty, disgusting. People need to grow up, understand that times have changed, understand that we are right now in the 21st century, and uh, we will enter the 22nd century once we are in uh, 2100. We are right now at 2022. Why keep bringing on the years before 2010 and even before the 1900s? It's just pointless. Okay, number seven. Is there a toxic fan base ruined uh, a film franchise for you and why? Um, it's not exactly a fan base, but rather a game. If you look at the fan bases of uh, everything from Mihoyo, Genshin Impact, um, uh, currently it's uh, Horkai Impact, Genshin Impact, Tohu, even uh, Fun King, uh, Friday, uh, Friday Night Fun King. Um, majority of uh, Disney films, uh, fan bases, many, many, uh, whenever a fan base is uh, constructed, especially like uh, Five Nights at Freddy's, Undertale, for films, uh, what's your name? Kimini Noah and uh, One Piece, Full Metal Alchemist, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, uh, Goblin Slayer. I frankly hate with a grudge majority of the uh, well-known famous stuff because uh, their fans are no more fans. They are officially cultists. When you hear about a title, IP, or a new franchise name, and it is very popular, it gets viral very easily, and uh, goes on fire, like a fire spreading through hay fields of ash, wood, like you're just talking about getting a franchise like a pile of trees and then throwing them into a pit of magma and watching the fire engulf them and then the volcano explodes. The fan base becomes extremely toxic, extremely elitist and they simply make you super oversaturated with the material they keep boosting on, um, endorsing, marketing, talking about gossiping. I get it, you wish to support what you love, you wish to support what you enjoy, but that doesn't mean that everybody has to enjoy what you enjoy. The thing is, for these people, lots of them, the fan bases, if I like something, especially with the, right now, the Get Gooders religion, who worship from soft and all of its sadistic, pure, anti-human games. They just worship the studio. It's their God, their Lord, their Savior. As long as it's, it remains as difficult as possible, as long as it is pure sadism, sadism combined with masochism, I loathe, hate, and curse these creatures. People who keep supporting all the time JoJo's uh, Bizarre Adventures made me hate the title. People who made uh, a joke line, a punching line of Free Zero made me disown the existence of that uh, title altogether. People who keep uh, talking about Goblin Stan and stuff. People who keep talking about Black Panther as being the first ever uh, Black uh, Lives Matter positive uh, retro classic uh, masterpiece the um, 
وات ايفر ذا هيل ذير از تروفي ات وون ات وينز لايك سيريسلي All this kind of attention begging, attention whoring, attention demanding is just disgusting. When people start to support their beloved uh, thing, oh, mostly Batman, everything, everything Batman. People may, made for him shrines, worshipped the fiction, fictional character, really played him, made fan fiction for him, made for him at uh, a threesome with uh, the Joker or, and uh, Superman and who cares about. Frankly, I find that, that uh, fan bases, as long as they keep themselves in mental chick mostly everything should be fine but currently everything turns into a religion everything turns into lunacy i hate everything that is rated triple a i simply loathe it hate it and don't want to even touch it with a 100 yards length pole being held by 10 Abled, will abled men before me while I touch them with a feather of a crow. I hate everything that is obsessed about. Sorry, I went into that uh, right there. But I had to get this out off of my chest. And with my personal uh, choice of uh, words, I only, honestly don't care. This channel is mine. And if YouTube would like to attack me for using this uh, language, most likely they will attack me once I get the 4,000 hours into the partnership program. If I ever reach that anytime soon or later. <sighs> so, here. If a question, number eight, what would your perfect day be like? Honestly, don't know. I wish to sleep until I am satisfied sleeping. That never happens, ever. I wish to eat uh, meals that are uh, very heavy in the protein intake because most of what I eat is uh, more heavy in uh, carbohydrates. <laughs> I wish to explore new stuff and uh, frankly I have no idea what would my perfect day to me be like since most likely I will stay at home and try to achieve stuff that I have a to-do list or finish some projects. I do not believe that a perfect day actually exists. Sorry. Number nine. What is something you could teach me about? Something I could teach you about. Honestly, I have no idea since I don't know what kind of knowledge you're asking for or what uh, boundaries you can't go uh, after. Like, what are your limits? What are your boundaries? What kind of topics you don't talk about? But I believe that one thing very clearly I can uh, teach you about is that the current uh, the current environment for the politics and uh, religion are completely chaotic, and I advise very high, highly not to get involved into them too much. Not the whole world is not the United States, and even if in the United States you are not completely free to express yourself as much as you believe you are. Censorship is everywhere. Uh, number 10. What's the longest running movie as in hours you have ever seen? Longest. Longest. Longest ever film or movie I believe I ever watched was for mo no more than two hours and a half. Its name? Don't really remember it. But I, do, I stopped completely watching uh, movies recently because nothing coming out or getting released is uh, worth watching in my eyes. 
With that, we have uh, finished 10 questions from Rookie Agent Corridor. Thank you very much. And also, thank you, Afrel, for your 80 questions. Next one is a cry field with only three questions. Cry field. If you don't mind, I'd like to ask you three questions. Go ahead. What's your biggest dream or ambition? Biggest dream or ambition? Um, one I used to have when I was much younger, like in uh, sick, uh, like in high school. My dream was for my uh, hobby, as in uh, novels writing, to become to be uh, to be able to turn them from text into visual graphic uh, comics and then into films and shows. Frankly, if I could uh, write uh, books or uh, novels or even very lengthy. Uh, sagas or legends and uh, them for them to become as uh, famous and well known as the more extremely well known and famous books I'm talking about uh, let me see here on the uh, go most famous books of all time I wish to write books and publish them that can defeat easily um, the books by the name Pride and the Prejudice, uh, 1984, Crime and Punishment. How many times have I heard about this one? Hamlet, 100 Years of Solitude, Anna Karenina, The Odyssey, The Stranger, the Brothers Karamazov, Karamazov, The Old Man and the Sea, Lolita, Great Expectations, War and Peace. How many times have my parents told me I could never write something this great? Don Cusite, The Liad, Madame Bova, Bova, Bovary, The Trial, Moby Dick, or The Will, The Divine Comedy, this is most likely by Dante, yeah. And King Lear, Love in the Time of uh, Cholera, The Complete Fairy Tales, Othelio, The Arabian Nights, etc. These books, the most famous in the world, the 100 most famous books in the world, I wish to write my own collection that can either join them in fame or defeat them and become visual graphic comics very much detailed and uh, sh TV shows or uh, like streaming shows and films. If I can show the world the existence and the reality that I can see through my own eyes and my own thoughts, I believe my mission in this planet will be over. As long as I can open their eyes to see the world in its actual true colors from my personal view. The Kryfield question 2. What do you think they hate and dislike the most in general? In general, what do I hate and dislike? The human race, all of it. I hate the human race. I uh, hate uh, racism. I hate the unending uh, hold and never uh, growing up from the history, fights and wars. I hate bullying. I hate narcissistic people. I hate self-worship. I hate celebrities, frankly. And I hate when people worship them brainlessly. I hate the media because it manipulates everybody and it's completely um, brainwashing, honestly. I hate the education system because it uh, restricts our freedom and makes us all use the same cookie cutters all the time and stuff. I hate the current 
my jobs market system because it kills all kinds of creativity and all kinds of it change i hate uh, the systems with the salary because you are literally just a paid slave by your personal uh, so choice and forced acceptance i hate the banking systems because it is just being abused all the time. And most of the thing I hate is war crimes. That even until now, no, not a single war criminal has ever been truly uh, punished. When uh, people in the world got rid of the death penalty, they created the most laid back system for uh, court judicial punishment system it's just broken uh, in fact i do hate google i hate alphabet i hate um B ceos and uh, bosses and leaders who believe they are higher than everybody else and no one else is higher than them narcissists uh, self-centered uh, people those cult uh, leaders I hate them all, but if you honestly look at the seed of all evil, it is the human race. Because if there is none humans, there will be no evil. Am I a nihilist when I speak this way? I don't care, frankly. I'm just answering your question. Uh, three, what is your favorite thing to do? Favorite thing to do... Honestly, I don't know. I like to watch videos and stuff. I like to game. I like to research for uh, new information, browse the mythology, the religion, languages. I like to think and uh, meditate around the world, around me, the space, what's be beyond it. The creatures, the blood, the DNA, biology, astrology. I love uh, going through the animal kingdoms to learn more stuff about them. I like to uh, explore psychology, learn how the brain, human brain works, how people can take advantages of it and how they can exploit it. I also like to learn about desert making. I have a sweet tooth. I like to explore the world of uh, coffee types, tea types, uh, his, uh, history that uh, is about other countries, because I'm sick of reading about my country's own uh, history nonstop. I like to explore other uh, cultures, um, traditions, knowledge, their own take on events that happened. Um, I like to explore the world of weapons, uh, blade type, gun type, uh, ammo types. It's just the curiosity is everywhere. So you could say that my favorite thing to do is exploration, curiosity, um, trying out new stuff, writing about them, and um, just trying to experience with whatever I have left of my life as much as I can. I hate to be always restricted into one place and one thing non-stop. I hate to uh, stay stuck in history and not move on forward. I thank you, Cryfield, very much for your questions. And uh, I hope that I give you satisfactory answers. Again, I thank Rogish and Kurudan for his 10 questions. And I thank Arfred for his uh, 8 questions. But I feel thank you for your 3 questions. Next up is Lux Bar, one of the members in our uh, YouTube Friends Discord uh, server. 1. Um, from Lux Bar, he has for me 10 questions. What's your favorite band or artist? 
I have a number. I listen to Skelet, to Globus, to um, um, I listen, let me check my Spotify since I have most of my things here. Most um, bands I listen to most likely are mainstream. I listen to Skelet, yes. I listen to um, my much of the from the fat rat compositions. I like some stuff from Hollywood and it, but not everything. I love Linkin Park very much. I listen uh, to Within Temptation a lot. I also listen to Even and Sense. Even and uh, Even and Sense. Also, Man with a Mission has uh, quite the number. Breaking Benjamin has some, but not too much. But looks like mostly I listen to Linkin Park. Most of the bands I listen to are uh, either related to angry songs, sad songs, depression uh, songs, or anime intros, Papa Roach. Um, Vila used to listen to her very much until uh, she stopped completely uh, publishing anything. Gets uh, scared. Uh, Kelly Clarkson. Um, bridge to Grace. Three Days of Grace. Also, set it off. Let me see who else. I listened very little to Slipknot. Looks like I very much uh, listened to Set It Off. And yeah, pretty much uh, these are the main bands I uh, listen to most of the time from my liked uh, songs list. Looks like I don't have uh, very uh, many number of uh, bands I listen to. It's not the band what matters, it is the song lyrics and uh, their meaning, more, much more like it. Also, I believe that there is another one who I recently subscribed to since they make their uh, comedic uh, songs on uh, the YouTube here. I can find their uh, name uh, quickly. This would be good. I listen to Molaka a little bit, but not too much. Molaka is the most famous one for her uh, Elder Scrolls uh, based uh, songs mostly. Um, I used to listen to Camelot, but not any anymore because uh, most of their songs are not my type. Um, Dragon Force also used to listen so, so much to them, but they stopped uh, releasing. Who else here? If I can remember, I listened to a number of uh, Jackie Rose's uh, composed uh, music and songs. Um, I can remember it. Yeah, we, we spoke about Skelet. A thousand foot uh, crutch. This uh, band specifies in uh, making songs for soldiers and for the army. Uh, they have some good stuff, but not everything, again. Hollywood uh, and did uh, have uh, many controversial uh, songs and uh, Topics, but I like very specific uh, songs from them because they tend to curse too much. Boy in a Band has uh, quite the good collection also. Where is that one? Uh, the Fat Rat uh, 
I already spoke about him. And also knows uh, no copyright uh, sounds in CS. Makes uh, quite a number of uh, nice composed uh, music and uh, songs. Um, yeah, and newly I started to listen to Wakakao band, a band that uh, Wakaki of the Wakaki band, a band that combines the traditional Japanese uh, instruments alongside the rock music, which is very uh, interesting. I used also to listen to, uh, um, I believe this is Gani uh, Benidia, Gani Benidia. Um, where is that one? Why do I now, of all the times, forget uh, their name? At least I'm, yes, here it is, here it is. Blue Jeans Blue. This is a um, French uh, band that makes very funny and uh, sometimes uh, silly music uh, yeah, um, video clips quite uh, quite nice uh, work no uh, no copyright sounds mulaka also mostly these are the bands that i always uh, listen to if i am in the mood glue bus already uh, said their name within temptation Okay. Most of the music I found, uh, uh, I found are either on YouTube or on Spotify. One of them, both. But I do always search for the good uh, lyrics over the beat, dance, or whatever. for the very lengthy answer looks bar number two what made you return to youtube well what made me return my indecisiveness honestly i'm trying to find myself uh, something to do or a career a job or whatever i am collecting a very big number of uh, pc games very old and uh, modern ps2 games many uh, my personal specialty is as a gamer mostly but uh, once again YouTube is reminding me why I quit it in the first place, which is lack of feedback, non-existence, uh, big support, and uh, having to continuously keep uh, doing what I'm doing uh, without any uh, compromise for it. What made me return? Most likely is it, it is because many of the subscribers that I have right now, my old time friends, encouraged me to return at least one more time, as a, one more chance. Frankly speaking, if it wasn't for them, for my most, uh, uh, more my closest friends, I may have never returned at all. Besides, I do need to find myself something to do while I seek a living source. If YouTube doesn't work with me, it's really fine. I will just do the same that I did before. But instead of deleting all of my videos and calling it quits, I will call it quits, but I will keep everything intact. I may just turn everything into private. Who knows? Because right now I stopped completely taking any kind of backup. Meaning, if anything of this is deleted, it's gone forever. Why? Because... Um, uh, just like that, I'm going to give this site one more chance only. No more notice. 
Number three, what hobbies do you have other than games? I like to read the manga, Japanese uh, comics. I like to watch so many um, Dungeons and Dragons uh, videos, stories, comedic uh, moments. I like to mostly watch videos about funny things because I, I try to make myself laugh. Since I and the human are completely incompatible, I like to sleep a lot. I like to hate myself and remember my past a little too much. Frankly, if I didn't have uh, college right now, and let's say other than gaming, I would uh, remain asleep or wake up only to eat, maybe watch some. Uh, videos or uh, read some books i also like to learn languages so that's another hobby that i currently am learning french uh, abroad i like to explore what abilities i have but with the uh, with a tidal wave of uh, criticism and uh, endless negative feedback, one's soul just gets oversaturated and stops caring. So basically, exploration, sleeping, uh, video watching, sometimes even marathoning, and that's literally it. I don't have to do much socializing. And sometimes even if I have, uh, let's say, not exactly video games, but tabletop games, if I can find someone who wishes to play chess, Dungeons and Dragons, uh, Connect for the older stuff, I wouldn't really mind to join in because I still have respect for the classics and the retros. Four, do you own any pets? I don't. That's pretty simple. Do you own any pets? I do not. Number five, what do you think of the world currently? The world currently is uh, Dante's Inferno, ninth circle of hell. We have Lucifer in the in the middle of the existence, as well as the United States, and it's um, turning everybody into depressed, despaired, disponable creature. Frankly. The world from the south to the north, from the east to the west, from the west to the east, and from the north to the west is completely hell. That's how I think of the world. It's hell. That's it. Is there any uh, possibility for, for a salvation? No. The end. Number six. What is the most unpopular opinion? your most unpopular opinion my most unpopular opinion is justice and vengeance i do not believe that uh, justice exists at all and i uh, prefer vigilante vengeance over it number seven what how do you deal with toxic negative people Sadly, since um, you cannot just face them face to face to break for them some teeth, some limbs, and uh, optionally snap a neck or two. Yeah, I do not shy around from assassinations, honestly. Some people just exist to be bodies, be nuisance. And frankly, I have no idea why they weren't aborted before they were even birth. How do I deal with them? Since, uh, frankly, most of the moderators, if not all of them around the world who moderate their websites are themselves devil's advocates, the only thing I can do is block them, report them, even though we already know by now that reporting doesn't do anything at all. If you block them, at least you can consider them dead in your eyes. And since death is inevitable, I just hope that uh, all the people who I blocked from 20, uh, 007, on a, truly the year I joined 
uh, YouTube was it of 2007 or was it 2006? I don't remember. But I hope that all of everybody that I blocked from that uh, time until this video to have died, because frankly speaking, majority of the people on this planet should just be burned to cinder. I was about to say Thanos snapped, but once again, I do not, I do not acknowledge the existence of the Avengers world, DC world, or any other Super Zeros world. The the fan base destroyed it for me. Number eight, what made you want to start YouTube? Okay, so what made me want to start a channel from the first place? I watched many people let's play stuff. I watched tutorials. I watched um, people asking for help. My main reason why I started YouTube in the first place to begin with it ever was simply to help out. That's literally it. I wanted to make a channel where I can post let's plays, where I can answer questions, where I can interact with people, be more social, where I can uh, take in comments like these, answer them, give tutorials about how to do stuff, make uh, myself more approachable, more interactive, more social, perhaps even win some friends, get into bigger groups, have a good time with everybody hangouts online entertainments in fact one of my very first goals before i started youtube was to one day gain enough money from my supporters so i could travel across the world and meet my own fans face to face hang with them for a few days and then um, show with them a meal or two or whatever just overall being more within the group of uh, trustworthy friends well that would I will have that happen I don't think so number nine what did you do after quitting YouTube for a while once I realized that I will not be able to interact with anybody, nobody is watching my videos, nobody cares about whatever I'm doing, every video I upload takes approximately two to three years until it gets one single view, I realized that I'm simply not welcome on the platform altogether at all. So I deleted everything I ever uh, uploaded i still have all the older channels back up with me because i believe that having a backup from what you upload online is always good what did i do i simply subscribed to more channels watched more uh, let's plays um waited on for game releases played the games offline completely finished some of them basically YouTube was mostly like a profitless career for me, not even a hobby. It was completely a profitless career. Something I placed in it, my soul, ambitions, goals, energy, and in the end, I get nothing in return. Thusly, I left. Because it was completely pointless. And if it doesn't work this time either, once I quit, if it doesn't work, I am never returning back to it again. Meaning, no more uploads at all, period. Because unless I can benefit from what I'm doing all this time, there's no reason for anything at all to keep on being active. Number 10. I know you don't know me well, but what was your first impression of me? Looks bar. Just like all of us, you are a person that's trying to rise in the fields you like, you enjoy. All of us in the free YouTube friends have our problems with the society, with the environment, and with the world as a whole. You are a very um, misunderstood person trying to be more positive, more supportive, more active, but uh, the world we live in is more depressing and more negative than we can actually redeem from it. 
So yeah, I believe that you are a, a very nice person to get to know you. Um, it's an honor to have received the questions from you. Once again, I'd like to thank Lux Bar, Cryfield, Rogers and Kordan, and Arfarel for their questions. Now, with the last question, one single question from ZPTV123. What is your favorite game genre of all time? Favorite game genre? Um, perhaps platformer, adventure, uh, fantasy platformer, adventure, I think. Because I love uh, mostly 3D games. I like platformers where you jump around the environment and interact with them. I like fantasy elements with magic, medieval settings, uh, Eastern uh, settings, mythology, like in Okami. I like uh, playing as beasts, more like uh, more than humans, like uh, Spyro, Crash Bandicoot. Um, I am not too much big on shooters, but I do enjoy them from time to time. I prefer mostly single player over multiplayer uh, games. I used to like the WMORPG, the massive, uh, the multiple massive online role playing games, but now my days, I'm not into them anymore. I had a very bad history with them. Also, once again, I repeat it, the more people that I have to interact with, the worse it becomes. I played uh, for nine years, jumping through a multi, uh, a multiple uh, player MMORPGs, and uh, it's always the same thing exactly. You're asking me for my favorite genre, so I'll just go back to it. Recent games are, aren't my thing. Uh, open worlds are good. Platformers are my childhood. Action adventures like Jack and Dexter, like. Um, what else is there? What did I play the most? Thrillville, the mini games, tycoons. Uh, build your base like in. Um, Command and Conquer games, militia style uh, games, tower defense, and choose your adventure, story rich games, mystery games, not much, puzzle games, used to like them previously, but not anymore, um, eastern settings, um, historic settings, like Age of Empires, resource management, the uh, four X's. Uh, exploit, uh, explore, um, expand, exploit, and exterminate. I like also the god games where you play like uh, literary god, uh, resource management, dungeon uh, games, uh, black and white, black and white 2. I like uh, monster payment games. I'm not talking about any of uh, Pokemon games or Digimon because um, games that have too much high uh, random number generator, I hate them. Also, uh, simulators, I'm not too much into them. Uh, rage games are on, on my most hated uh, genres lists. Um, Cooking sims, uh, cleaning sims, etc. Not a, not a fan of them. Um, Co-op games, also not a fan of them. I like stealth games. Um, still... Tensho uh, games, Shinobido games, Aragami. Kena is uh, an open world uh, action adventure. Um, Resident Evil, I don't like much, uh, many from its uh, series, especially after it went to Resident Evil uh, 7 and uh, Village, so I believe it's 8. 
uh, Resident Evil, uh, I believe it was uh, seven. The most uh, recent ones, uh, seven and eight uh, village with uh, the one previ previously to it, I hate them both. I like indie games very much. I had in time uh, one shot. Um, the thing is, I have a very big number of titles in my head <laughs> right now. Cyberpunk is not half bad, uh, half uh, bad. Frostpunk, the survival uh, builder. Resource collector manager. I like when I am in charge. Also, the Shin Megami Tensei games, Persona spin off, the Power Fantasy, the Demon Collector, Fusion, um, maybe School Sims or Dating Sims. I'm not really a big fan of these, but more of the action oriented, the turn based RPGs. Um, Frankly, the systems for the social links aren't something that I am too much big on. For you who only were born with uh, Persona 5, the confidence system, I'm not a huge fan of it. Uh, first person shooters are kind of on my plate, but not very much. I'm talking about Bioshock 1 and 2. Perhaps a little even uh, some games from Thrill Village as well. Um, I like the games with mascots in them. Sonic uh, games, uh, Spyro, Crash, maybe Jack and Dexter. I do not uh, support or uh, I do not lean towards anything that Nintendo ever made. Even though I do enjoy Chibi Robo and. Uh, Pikmin, that's two titles. Also, I used to enjoy fighters like Bloody Roar and uh, um, Marvel vs. Capcom series. I disown the existence of Tekken. Street Fighter and any other uh, too much uh, self-contained um, SNK also not my not my thing. I don't like any of the wrestling uh, games. Um, car racing I don't play it at all. Because I grew up uh, beyond uh, this genre, since Need for Speed is no longer that fun to me. Um, I think more maybe the satiric, the comedy style games, more uh, comedy based would be uh, good. Uh, point and click adventures a little bit, but not much. Narrative uh, driven games are good. Heavily puzzles, I don't like them. Funny that uh, I am a very big fan of uh, magic uh, systems in games also, but not uh, majority of them. Like, I never played uh, any of the Elder Scrolls games, even though I downloaded a very big uh, ton of uh, mods for Skyrim, I never truly played it even once until now. But as many as there is uh, fans for Oblivion and for Morrowind, they drive me to disgust and sickness from how much they keep uh, criticizing and hating of Skyrim. I like uh, mythical beasts uh, games where you play as dragons, as wolves, as uh, beasts. One of them who obviously is a beast. The lesser I need to play as a human, the better, frankly speaking. And the more I can kill of a human, the better. 
That is something really just weird about me. I like beast skin games when you can play as furries. I like them. I uh, enjoy the PlayStation 1 and 2 era games, even if they were uh, side scrollers or side adventures. Many of my uh, most liked games were criticized of being bad or worse, or even just a disaster altogether. I enjoy uh, some of the very much obscured games. Everybody currently keep uh, talking about uh, referring to the difficulty of, for, to anything that FromSoft makes. When the truth is the hardest game to ever be created before FromSoft even was created itself. On the PS1 used to be Mickey's Wild Adventure and King Lee's uh, Adventure. Both of them had difficult spikes like There's No Tomorrow. I like this both. Just for the sake of the nostalgia, but otherwise I will. I don't like it at all. I hate it, in fact. Um, one of my favorite games that I never got to play until now, frankly, since um, it used to be a dose only game in search of uh, Dr. Uh, Ripto, or what was his name again? Let me check my browser history. In search of. Okay, it looks like I cannot. Let me quickly search the DOS games. Uh, in search of Dr. Something. I am uh, much more of a. Uh, Okay. Reptide. In search of Dr. Reptide, this is the one. This is a game that was released in 1994. A DOS uh, based uh, browser game. Its most outstanding feature was the yellow and the uh, red submarine. Very early on uh, graphics. Very simple yet uh, interesting game. You can approximately finish it in one hour. I used to love it so very much. This, this game is my, child, my childhood. As much as people like to very much boast about Mo uh, Monkey Island Secrets or Prince of Persia, the original one, this was to, used to, to be my most favorite game in my childhood. I used to play a number of uh, those games also, like Marbles, like... Uh, the Temple of uh, Zuma, uh, Centipede, Space Invaders, Tetris, um, even uh, what uh, was it again? What did I? Another game that I used to spam it to bits was uh, Axie Snake. Axie Snake is a very quick and a small uh, indie game that was released uh, when again it's one of the uh, of the snake uh, style uh, games Axis Snake uh, was developed and published by Axisoft in 1000 and 2001. 2001. Uh, wow. Basically, I believe that most of my most liked games are very early on, from the two th early 2000s to the late 2010s. Since. Um, Otherwise, most of the things that are getting released nowadays, after 2015, 
up to 2020 are simply not worth looking at or even waiting for the release because they are just not worth the hype or the investment. Frank speaking, honestly speaking. Currently, other than dungeons, I do have a couple of games that I wish to either play alone or stream for you. By name, I have a hat in time. I may be play it on the channel, may not. I may even speedrun X Snake. I think I may be play Biomutant. Another game that I haven't finished yet, not even for once, but I believe it would be very fun and interesting to try out. I may even play Cyberpunk 2077. If it, I find a way to make it work, that is. I thought about recording videos for Slime Rancher. A resource management uh, monster uh, tamer style game, first person view, very nice. I also thought about play, let's playing for you, Shen Megami Tensei Reimagine, the online uh, version of uh, Shen Megami Tensei 9, but frankly, I am about to quit it personally, that's why I don't really think it would be worth. Uh, Streaming. I thought about uh, playing Spyro the Ignited Trilogy, but I'm not sure if my laptop can take it or not while streaming as well. And this needs uh, some testing. I have uh, the Outer Worlds latest uh, update. Will it be something you would be interested in, in seeing Fallout being played but in space rather than uh, normally? Since after all, um, According to the Steam library, the Outer Worlds uh, 2 is not uh, too far away from being released itself, I think. Let me search here, the Outer Worlds... Yeah, the Outer Worlds 2. No, uh, no uh, information about it yet. But regardless, they they did inform that they will be soon soonish developing it. Regardless, what else did I th think about the path from Tale of Tales? I highly doubt you heard about this game at all, since it is a walking simulator, a psychological horror one. I played it once, it took for me very long to play it, because it is kind of weird, but interesting at the same time. Also, I have <laughs> Virtua, Virtua Cup 2, another uh, DOS-based uh, game, very, very, very old. I have uh, also here a number of other uh, games I thought about maybe playing or let's say playing but not really sure if they, if they would be interesting for you or not I got my uh, self to know by heart land of screens uh, letters uh, a written uh, adventure model builder not tonight one and two I have also rift world sifu yes I got it I have sword the court also, where was the Apocalypse uh, Earth Blood? I have a very big number of uh, PC games. The question about them is which should I play and which should I just play for myself or stream for you? Since the amount of the games that I have is very, very big, I better test them out and see which deserves to be played and which deserves to be trashed. Because if I find out that some of the games that I have are not worth the investment, neither uh, time nor money, I better try to get a refund as soon as possible from them. I hope that answered for you your question, Executive Auto 3. The games you played yourself, uh, Destroy All Humans, action uh, adventure style, sh third person shooter, um, infamous third person shooter, uh, kind of open world adventure. 
Um, your Call of Duty games, the Resident Evil third person shooter uh, action. I do like them. I also heard about uh, Halo, but Halo's fan base drove me insane with all their insane levels of worship and uh, sick, uh, making the game such a sacred artifact. It uh, drove me sick to my stomach. So yeah, most of the titles are indie. Um, some are to play, but not all of them. I would later on give you more polls about what uh, things you want to uh, watch me playing. I almost forget uh, one genre, the revenge or you are the final boss fight genre, which means power fantasy. It is my favorite right now. Be able to be the final boss yourself for the entire game, have all the overpowered, unbalanced uh, skills, and it be kind of vulnerable if you let the enemies arrive at your uh, get too far, too much too far. I love to feel strong, especially when we live in a world that is completely designed for for and belongs to. Bullying, hating, criticizing, judging, executioning, um, racism, endless filth, simply endless filth. You wish to have the power to change it. You wish to have the ability to make it better or at least take revenge or justice into your own hand since those in control are failures when it comes to justice because nobody cares about anything sacred respect or virtuous everybody just cares about money bribes etc so when you have the power to change everything in your hand, you use it, you destroy the corruption, you destroy the evilness that's mostly from the human race. That's what I love and respect. For how long have I been right now talking? Since I have the notepad in the front of me and behind it, OBS. I have been talking uh, for an hour and 21 minutes. <laughs> Fine then. I think maybe this uh, to this uh, session will be again a mute for the, the dungeons to let's play. I hope you've got your uh, answers, everybody. I'd like to once again thank you very, very much for your questions. Your single question, ZPTV123. Your 10 questions, Lux Bar. Your 3 questions, Cryfield. Your 10 questions, Rogue Agent Caradan. And your 80 questions, Aperel. I'd like to thank you very much all for participating in this special kind of video of Ask Me Anything. I hope that my answers were satisfactory. I hope that you heard from me the answers you were expecting or looking forward to hear from me. I hope that I didn't um, fail your expectations or uh, disappoint you with what I answered. And I I will be looking forward to see your feedback around the, ins the answers you were given, whether or not you were um, satisfied with them or you want me to do another kind of uh, ask me anything with different kinds of questions. I usually make these kinds of facts, um, revelations or uh, ask me anything stuff after uh, each project in order to get to know my uh, viewers and uh, audience a little bit better. Maybe sooner or later I will reach the point where I am comfortable enough to start a truthful face scam with this. I will not promise anything, but let's hope for it. Okay? Because honestly, I highly doubt that nobody would like to see someone's face that calls himself as an acronym, his alias, invisible. 
This has been with you, Invisible, your host from Invisible's Gaming Channel, striking at your hearts from the dark, the dark side of the moon. And this has been with you, the video respond for the questions, ask me anything, AMA. I hope you have had a good time throughout this one hour and 25 minutes by now. And uh, see you in the next uh, session, whenever that would be. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, be careful about yourselves. We are living literally in hell, so take care and best of luck. Invisible with you, sign out. Peace be upon you all. Take care. Good night.